Well, hello, this is your devotional for July 20th. And the message today, just one verse and one short, simple truth. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Think about what you're gonna say. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Listen to James chapter five, verse 12. Just this one short little verse. Here it is. Above all, my brothers and sisters, and interestingly, above all, saying this is really important. Above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear. That doesn't mean use foul language, which is a bad idea also. This means don't, don't swear. I swear this is true. Don't, don't, don't make an oath like that. Do not swear. Not by heaven or by earth or by anything else. All you need to say is a simple yes or no. Otherwise, you will be condemned. What's the point of this passage? What is God saying to us through James? He's saying, he's saying, listen, don't feel like you have to use God's name to fortify and to buttress what you're going to say. If somebody says, well, I'll be there at this time and nobody believes them, you're not going to make them believe you more by saying, I swear it's true. You have to live out a life where when you say yes, it's a yes. When you say no, it's a no. And, and, and live that out. Follow through on that. And then you don't have to swear or I promise it's true. The, the, the kid that's constantly saying, dad and mom, I swear it's true. I promise it's true. It's the kid who's a liar. <laughs> because they're the ones that the parent looks at and says, I don't believe you. You don't tell me the truth and so I don't trust you. So let your yes be yes and your no be no. And then it says, don't swear by heaven or by earth. Don't feel like you have to swear by in God's name. Bad idea. Don't, don't, in, in the ancient world, they would swear by by the, this valuable place, by the temple, by the, all these things, and they would do it to strengthen what they had already said. What would your life look like if the people around you knew that when you said, yes, I will do it, yes, I will be there, yes, I have your back, they would never question it because your yes is yes and your no is no. What would your life be like if when you said to somebody, no, I'm not gonna do that, they would immediately know that you won't. That's what this is talking about. Let your yes be yes, let your no be no. If you find yourself ever having to say, I swear this is true, it probably means you've eroded your integrity and you have to have these extra things to prop up your yes and your no. Better than that, be a person of your word. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. That people would look at us and they would know that our yes is yes, we're gonna follow through, our no is no. Make us people that are so honest and so truthful and so careful about our words that we don't have to add anything to them, people will believe the things we say. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, blessings. Have a great rest of the week, and hopefully we'll see you Sunday morning for worship at Shoreline Church on campus online, 9 o'clock and 11. Have a great day.